Hello, Jessica Yorbrix here, back from the review, and today I'm reviewing set number 76017. It's called Captain America vs. Hydra. It has 172 pieces, 3 minifigures, and retails for $20 in the United States. Uh, this is recommended for ages 6 to 12. It's part of the LEGO Marvel Super Heroes Avengers Assemble sets. So now let's take a look at the packaging. Okay, so here's the packaging for the set. Wow, that background is awesome. I love that. You can see how much snow is on the trees, and then there's just a little mountain detail right there. Uh, I think they really nailed the background of this. It really sells the set. I know I say this a lot with these Marvel sets, but they really do have excellent boxes. because It just really makes it pop out because it's a beautiful background picture, and you kind of have this a little bit of an ugly looking set, but you have, you know, Captain America, Red Skull, and the Hydra Goon that really kind of sell the sets. But the background right there just looks great. I really love how they put that. And it says Avengers Assemble right there. That's the logo of the new TV show. They're basically labeling, like the Ultimate Spider-Man sets, they're doing the same thing where they're labeling it that it is based off of a TV show, but in reality, they're just putting the stuff from the video game in there. Basically like generic Avengers sets and stuff like that, which isn't bad. And you can see this is actually the only Avengers Assemble set to have that side print right there, which is a little bit weird. I was kind of amazed that the Hulk Smash, or the Hulk Lab Smash didn't have that side print. Um, and you can see the back right here shows all the little play features, which look great. And then there's one of the comics, which is the same one from the Hulk Lab Smash, which I showed in that review. And then there's this one instruction booklet, which is pretty long, but it has an advertisement for the Ultimate Spider-Man sets, the Marvel Super Heroes game, and that's it. Oddly enough, these don't advertise the Avenger sets. I don't know why. But now on to the minifigures. So here's the Captain America minifigure of this set. I apologize, I can't find the old Captain America minifigure, but I am probably going to do a Marvel Super Heroes minifigure collection video. So we'll compare it there, but for now, you can see this is just a great looking Captain America. It's based off the original comic version, or not really the original comic version, but more of the, what people would consider the classic comic version. And he has that light blue, blue color instead of the dark blue color that was found in the Avenger sets. And he has some different printing on his torso, which looks great. This reminds me a lot of the 1990 Captain America TV movie, if you, any of you guys watched that, which it wasn't really that popular, so I don't think any of you guys did, but I know my friend Be Kind Story One, he really loved that TV movie. And you can see that there's no like leg printing right there, but he does have some very nice torso printing on the back too, which is great. And this shield is actually a little bit lighter of a red instead of the, the dark red that we got from the Avenger sets. And you can see his face printing right there. He just has kind of a smug look, which I think is the best looking smile out of the set. You know, the other two don't have smiles, but what I'm saying is the other two minifigures, they have their teeth gritting, and you guys will see more about that later. But I also like how he has some back printing on his uh, headpiece right there, because it really adds detail to the minifigure. So overall, just a really awesome looking minifigure. Definitely one of my favorite um, figures of 2014. And here's Red Skull, and Red Skull is another fantastic looking minifigure. I love his torso printing, his accessory is this little tesseract or uh, the cosmic cube. And you can see his back printing right there which looks great too. Now his facial printing is really awesome except he has that grinning face right there. Would have been cool if he just had kind of a grinning face or just a neutral face where he's not showing his teeth. So it, uh, it looks a little bit weird in some situations when he has his teeth showing. But other than that, just a really awesome minifigure. Um, I don't really mind that he doesn't have any uh, leg printing or anything like that. Uh, even though I would have rather had it on Captain America or something like that. Um, but I don't think really this Red Skull minifigure needs leg printing. And here's the Hydragoon, and you can see that he has some very cool torso printing. Now, I didn't really know who this guy was until I saw the sets. I'm not really that much of a hardcore Marvel fan for like the comics and stuff like that. But still, he just looks really, really cool. He has that gritting face right there again, which like I said, same complaint that I have with Red Skull. Would have been cool if he just didn't show his teeth or anything like that. But other than that, he is just an excellent minifigure. And I don't think this minifigure needs leg printing either. You can see on his back torso printing, it's even more detailed, which is really cool. He has these little packs right here. And then he has an H on the back of his head for his head printing, which is awesome. Love getting some back head printing. And so yeah, another fantastic minifigure. Really love this guy. Okay, so here are the two builds of the set. There's this very cute little motorcycle for Captain America. And then there's this kind of, I don't even know what it is, maybe like a tank for, um, or for Red Skull and for the Hydragoon. And first we'll take a look at the little motorcycle. So put this into the picture. And yeah, you can see they just basically use the second motorcycle piece because there's kind of like two motorcycle pieces in Lego. 
There's the one that they use for, say, the Captain America Avenging Cycle set. But you can see it just has that frame in that dark burgundy or like burgundy color. Same color that we got Wolverine's little motorcycle, but this isn't the same mold as Wolverine's motorcycle. And you can see there's some detail with the wheels, which look cool. And then there's some deal or details right there. And then on the front, there's this little light detail. And right here, there's a clip so you could put Captain America's shield on the clip. So it fits on perfectly like that. And then you could kind of fit Captain America on like that. So it is just a really nice little throw in, I guess you could say for Captain America's build. And yeah, it works really fine. And then onto this little build right here, which is kind of like a tank for Hydra. And you can see the detail on the side right there is expressed from with some stickers. There's a sticker right there that says 65. Sticker on the front which shows the Hydra or yeah, Hydra logo. Then there's a sticker right here that shows the Hydra logo. Then there's another sticker on the side that shows the 65. So uh, overall, this build looks a little bit weird for me. I don't know. I'm not really digging this build. It just looks, I'm not sure, because I'm not really sure what it is. If it's a tank, it barely looks like a tank because of these big wheels. And you can see how much it's raising from the ground. But then again, the wheels do provide a pretty cool play feature. And basically, it's something similar to what the Mars Curiosity rover has. And I'm not sure what this is called. I know it has a specific term, but I'm not really good with like car terms and stuff like that. Is it sus it's not suspension, but it's maybe all terrain or something. I'm not entirely sure, but if you put this little plate down here, like any kind of surface on the bottom, it wheels up like that because the, the wheels have kind of like space to move up and down like that. So that is pretty cool as a feature. And then on the side right here on the back, you can see there's some headlights right there or some just regular lights. And the side again, right here, there's this little thruster and that's found on both sides, which you can move up and down. And for the top, there's a little bit of room where you could fit a minifigure, presumably, I guess, Red Skull, because that's how they show him on the box. And there's this printed control panel right here, but there's lots of, like, standing space right here. But you can see there's a printed control panel. And then on the back, there's this part right here, which you could put the Hydragoon or any other minifigure, but they show the Hydragoon on the box. And there's these little switches right here made out of the little antenna pieces. And the main play feature of that is that you can spin it around like that. It works really well unless you have like Red Skull in the way or another minifigure. It kind of knocks them down. But other than that, it could spin a full 360 degrees, which is awesome. There's these two flick and fire missiles right here, which, you know, they're basically flick and fire missiles. And yeah, I didn't really get it going far. And then there's these two lights in the back, which you can move up and down because they're on these hinges. One of them has this little antenna right here. And the other one is just regular with two little studs as lights. And that's really it for this set. For the bottom look, you can see right there. Then the top look, you can see right there. So overall, a really kind of weird build, but there's some nice play features. Like I do like this little wheel play feature and the spinning back. So now onto the final verdict. So overall, this set reminds me a lot of Wolverine's Chopper Showdown from 2012 because while the build is pretty mediocre, the three minifigures are just fantastic and they're exclusive to the set. Now I love the Captain America minifigure. I think they really nailed that one down besides probably not including his boots or something on his legs. But even then, that's just such a minor flaw. I don't really care. And I love his torso printing. I think his torso printing is fantastic and his facial printing is really cool too. It really adds variation to the previous Captain America minifigure where we got it in dark blue, but this one is in light blue, and it's actually a little bit more detailed, I feel like, on the torso. So I really love that. His motorcycle is actually pretty cool. I mean, it's not like anything exclusive, but it's nice to get like a little motorcycle build. Now, the other two minifigures are really great too. I think they're nearly flawless, except maybe the, like the, um, yeah, <clears throat> maybe the fact that they don't have little leg printing and maybe the fact that their face, they're always having that little gritty teeth face. And that's just a little bit annoying. I would have rather had a neutral, like not happy face, but just a neutral face where like their uh, mouth is closed or had maybe just a little grinning face, but any face that basically their mouth is closed. But when they're always grinning their teeth, it just looks a little bit weird and it kind of limits the use of them. But still, other than that, I love their torso printings, which I think are fantastic. I love their facial printings besides that little part. Now the main build isn't the greatest, like I said, but it does have some cool features. Like I like the rotating part on the back right here. 
And I like how the wheels can kind of, I don't know what the feature of this is called, but how it can kind of go up on surfaces and stuff like that. Maybe it's altering, I'm not entirely sure. Somebody knows what it is, just tell me. Uh, but I love how you could kind of put like something down here and it could crawl up on it. And that's actually really cool. That's a, that's a pretty nice feature. And so yeah, I give this set an A. I think it's a great $20 set. It has the minifigures just really sell a set. But you do get some interesting pieces here and there with the build. Even though it's not the greatest build, I really do like the motorcycle though. And that's really it for the set, and I will see you guys later. Bye.